We've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that West Ham's now 17th in the Premier League table because results have really gone against us. And this is the first time I've ever really imagined in my West Ham supporting days that a load of results would go against us and we've dropped so far down. But there are two bits of good news. The first bit of good news is that it's so tight down there at the bottom so early on in the season that if West Ham wins against Bournemouth, it can go 10th in the league. The other good news is the title of this video. We've received positive news about Aguirre and Corne. Corne is now back in training and Aguirre started training with the team as well. Aguirre was not supposed to be fully fit until before the World Cup. And even just before that. So if you're going on that basis, he would have been available for selection more likely in November rather than October. Aguirre now seems to be likely to feature in the Europa League game during midweek when West Ham travels to Bucharest to play FCSB. Corne has been missing as well because of an injury and he's been gone for quite some time. He's now started training again. I think that it's very important for both players to get back in the team because they really can be difference makers. Corne is a natural winger and it would stop Fornalson being played in that position. Well, so you'd think. Moyes will probably still start Fornals, dare I say it, but... Well, I'm just being logical. Um, Corne being on the wing would be a massive boost because it, that's his natural position, like I say. And with his speed and link with Skamaka, it would help us with goal scoring a lot more. Also, Corne has a bigger role than what most people think. He's a good ball carrier. And once he starts getting those goals in, starts finding the consistency in his form, I think he'll turn out to be a very good player. Um, you know, he was likely to go to Everton over the summer. Then we came in and snooped him away. And I'm really glad that Corne has joined the team. His first season in English football was quite a statement season when he was at Burnley. Just took one season there for other clubs to be convinced by him. Aguirre was one of the best defenders in Ligue 1 last season. He has been out injured, though, for some time, as I've kept saying. And this came off the back of a very good pre-season for us. In the game against Rangers, he made very good long balls and was good at defending. And he's quite a technical defender. We've needed technical defenders. Kura is one, for example. Kura and Aguirre would definitely work well together in our team. I think that with these guys coming back now, it's going to give Moyes more options and it's going to make him make more decisions in the long run. He's going to have to think about who plays and who doesn't now. Of course, Aguirre's starting position will not be guaranteed immediately because of how Dawson and Zuma have been playing. Even Kura has gone into the centre-back position a few times, so it's all a little bit undecided still. However, it is good news that both players are back in training and will be featuring sooner than we think. So I'm really excited to see Aguirre. There was a lot of hype over him over the summer, and I'm really glad that he's um, getting back to full fitness. That goes as well for Corne. We've missed him in the team, and he has a lot more to offer. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to sub for more content. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all soon.